We have more information now on our exclusive investigation into dangers in your water. We found a cancer-causing chemical polluting the water you and your family drink every day. As part of our investigation, Wendy Saltzman tested seven area water supplies. How does your water stack up? CBS Atlanta's Wendy Saltzman tested water from homes around our area and asks this tough question, is your water safe? Chances are you drank this contaminated water with your dinner and your kids brushed their teeth with it. We found two, eight, even 14 times the proposed limit of hexavalent chromium in the water you're drinking. It's in your kids' schools and in your home. Are you safe? Some warn absolutely not. Hexavalent chromium. It's the cancer-causing chemical made famous in the movie Aaron Brockovich. Would you mind if I investigate this a little further? Now we've found the same toxin that made Hollywood headlines seeping into the water you and your family drink every single day. I'm worried about what it's having an effect on my kids. You know, are they getting sick and I don't even know it? Or plus two. They could be getting sick. Chrissy Castillo and her family live in an area where we found the water is polluted with this cancer-causing poison. Can you get your sister some water? Yes. Yeah. From Fulton County to Gwinnett, Clayton to Cab and Cobb. Kind of makes me not want to drink our water. The EPA has set a 100 parts per billion limit for total chromium, but environmentalists warn not only is that standard out of date. The current water safety standard for chromium is almost 20 years old. But it also includes total chromium in the water instead of isolating this well-known cancer-causing chemical. Even low levels of chemicals can end up causing harm. And environmental chemist Rebecca Sutton says the EPA also fails to account for new research, which links even low-level exposure to dangerous side effects. They classified the chemical as likely to cause cancer in people when we drink. The EPA is in the process of re-evaluating their standard. In the meantime, the state of California says water needs to test below 0.02 parts per billion to be considered safe. Hexavalent chromium is a toxic form of chromium that even in low doses has been linked to gastrointestinal tumors, liver and kidney damage, and stomach cancer. The highest results we found were in East Point, where the samples tested at 0.293 parts per billion. That could be very dangerous. It's almost 15 times California's safe limit. I think that it's ridiculous that it's not safe. Second highest on the list was Gwinnett County. We have no choice. We are stuck with the county water. Their water tested at 0.169, eight times California's proposed safe standard. We've even had people that have died of cancer in the street, not just dogs, but people. And Atlanta, Fulton County came in third highest at 0.122 parts per billion, six times more than California's limit. I would hate that, you know, 30 years from now, my, one of my daughters calls me and, is, you know, ends up with having liver cancer, stomach cancer, because um, I would always wonder. So how did your water system test? Well, the rest of our results are coming up. We're asking these water departments the tough questions about what they're going to do to protect you and what can you do to protect yourself. This one may surprise you. Bottled water won't help. We took several samples from around the metro area, and here are our results. East Point tops our list with 15 times California's proposed safe limit of hexavalent chromium. Gwinnett has eight times the proposed safe limit. Atlanta Fulton County water is next on that list with six times the limit, followed by Clayton County and Cobb. So what is your local government doing to keep you safe? We're asking the tough questions. The water's there. Hollis Chamberlain has three young daughters. And we use water for everything. But that water we found is laced with hexavalent chromium, which Hollis fears may be slowly poisoning her family. I mean, if it's truly going to cause cancer and, you know, make you sick, then they need to do something about it. The EPA is in the process of determining how much hexavalent chromium is safe. Five of the seven water supplies we tested failed to meet California's proposed safe limit of 0 0.02 parts per billion. So you're going to tell citizens there's no danger? I would tell citizens absolutely there's no danger. Dexter White says Atlanta citizens have nothing to worry about. Even though Atlanta's water tested six times California's proposed limit, White says the city's water meets the EPA's current standards for total chromium. We don't want to create a, a scare for, for our citizens. But the bottom line is even the EPA has not determined what level is safe for hexavalent chromium. As far as is that acceptable, 
hard to say right now. Neil Spivey, the director of water production for Gwinnett County, says they're waiting for the EPA's new recommendations. There is no national standard for it. Gwinnett tests their water for hexavalent chromium every year to make sure they're within federal requirements. You guys are about eight times as high as that California standard. Mm -hmm. is, is that a problem? Um, again, I don't know if it's a problem. East Point, who tops our list for the highest levels in Metro Atlanta, dodged our tough questions. Just this week, the city sent out a consultant to test East Point's water supply, nearly five weeks after we first asked them to respond. In this statement saying it's out of an abundance of caution, the city has chosen to conduct further inquiries. I think that they need to fix it, and I think they need to fix it right away. Our testing did find two metro Atlanta areas whose water was safe. Hexavalent chromium was not detected in the city of Roswell or in DeKalb County. The EPA is meeting on Thursday as they work to revise what standard is considered safe. So what can you do to protect yourself? Well, just log on to our website at cbsatlanta.com for more information on filters like reverse osmosis filters that can get rid of chromium-6 and others that don't. Spending a lot of money on bottled water won't help. Environmentalists say most bottled waters don't filter out chromium-6. I'm Wendy Saltzman, CBS Atlanta News.